Uh, there's been another fast food freak out, and this time it was at a McDonald's in Miami Springs, Florida, oh, where this boy. 64-year-old guy, Elazar Ravello, he went to a drive through to order his daily sausage McMuffin and a cup of coffee. He's a regular there, mm -hmm. and he orders that all the time. Now, with the senior discount, uh, because he's over 55, yep. he gets a slightly lower price on his cup of coffee. Nice. Okay. Well, there was a manager working the drive through that day, I guess not the usual checker there, mm -hmm. uh, charged him one penny more than usual. Shush. And he a got penny? enraged, and he slapped the coffee right out of her hand, and that caused her to get burned all while he was berating her over that one penny. So he was arrested for felony battery, and he's since bonded out of jail. Guess what? He ain't allowed back there. Yeah, no Idiot. more. <laughs> Mega ban. The Are there any more level-headed responses to things? <laughs> no. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What happened to that? There was a story. A 17-year-old stabbed another 17-year-old co-worker with two steak knives one morning over a missing set of uh, AirPods. Because apparently one of the guys had the other's AirPods and were supposed to return them uh, oh, the next no. day at work, yeah. but he forgot. Mm -hmm. And so this other coworker gets so mad. So the next day, he's giving him a ride, and he had these two steak knives in his fanny pack, confronts the dude about his missing AirPods. They argue, and it led to the stabbing. Jeez. So the one dude's obviously in the hospital, oh intensive care. And now, uh, guess what? Over some AirPods, you're going to be tried as an adult. On attempted first degree murder charges. Wow. Were, Were the, uh, the <laughs> Okay. The story is pretty crazy. But just in general, are you loaning out your AirPods to people? Why? That's gross. Oh, by the way, also turns <laughs> out he had his AirPods the whole time and it was just a mix up. Uh, uh, hmm. What a dumbass. Like pocket oh, or something. No. Were, wow. her, 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 Enjoy jail. You're right, douche. <laughs> what happened to just having a normal oh reaction God. to stuff? Like, yeah. I remember, like, count to ten, take a deep breath, all these things you were mm -hmm. supposed to do before you stab somebody or before you flipped out in the fast yeah. food place yeah. over the penny. And burn somebody. Well, what was comedy. on? What was the headline on TMZ yesterday? Some 11-year-old ran to his car, got a gun, and started shooting at a couple kids at a um, football practice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they I have, like, that. the whole thing on yeah. Tape. Right. yeah, I saw that. I was like, "What in the hell is happening?" Who, talk about zero to one hundred. Yeah. Everybody, take a deep breath, man. Nothing is that serious. Can I go back to the question real though? Would you loan somebody your AirPods? I would. <laughs> <laughs> you would? Yeah, if it was if it was one of you guys. I, I know, but like if Greg said, "Hey, man, it's gonna buy your AirPods." I would. I would. I mean, I would. You would. Let you him, would. I would. I would loan them, but I would be like, yeah. "That's kind of weird." It's kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I mean, what I'm it, saying. Okay. It is kind of gross. I asked. Um, I asked this question yesterday about. There's so many of those head stomping things now in fights. Yeah. Like there's, it's not a fight unless somebody is getting literally stomped and their head kicked in, mm -hmm. right? What, what is it that we've become so violent? And that is the, like it, that's the immediate response. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, not just like I would take just a regular old fist fight at this point over these people who are stabbing, shooting, shooting, like going overboard with this like over the top rage, violent yeah. anger over the. Dumbest stuff. Yeah. The first I, answer now is violence. Yeah. Yeah. And, and again, not just an ass kicking. I know we say there's no consequences these days, but there's still some when you're there are do, when you're doing stuff at that level. But what but happened? I, but I think we just don't see it. We don't see what the consequence is. We don't yeah, see Yeah, there needs to be more reports on more yeah. follow up news follow up Yeah, there news, needs you know? to be yeah. like visual <laughs> But how representations do we... of what the consequences are because I think people just don't see them and then yeah. they do these actions and they go, oh, wait a minute, I am going to be in jail. And I'm not just talking about guns. I'm talking about like all kinds of just like over-the-top violence mm -hmm. that that is the first, that's your go-to. That's your go-to response, violence. Either you're flipping out and beating the crap out of somebody and it's always over nonsense stuff. Right. Yeah. Your life is not threatened. The that's what's up kind of stuff, I'm fully for. Your life is threatened. Someone's uh, invading, coming yeah, into your house yeah. or right. whatever, threatening your family. That I get. But McDonald's coffee over a penny? Yeah. A penny. Why, why is violence, what's, what started that? Like, Because it, it's definitely been like just rapidly yeah. increasing. I just feel like in the last couple of years, the whole world has gone yeah. insane. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, on a positive note, you could turn two bucks into uh, over a billion tonight. 
Powerball. Powerball. Jackpot. Let's just yeah. win the Powerball. I know. 1.2 yeah. billion. Tonight. I'll start my own earth. Don't mm. have to worry about any of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time cash payout, 551.7 million. This is the third biggest yeah. prize in Powerball history. Yep. Powerball. Oh, you could join Hermit in the best way. Yeah, great. Oh, nice. If we win. We'll just make our own earth. <laughs> Let's do that. And then uh, we can, it's, it'd be by invite only. Invite yeah. only. Yeah. Just dogs yeah. everywhere. And have if you a, it would have a vineyard. And if you, uh, and if you step out of line at all, you're off our earth. Oh, yeah. you're out. Yeah, you go back to crap you're earth. Out. You're out. Yeah. Yeah, you go back Not to awesome earth. You go back to earth. crap earth. Uh-huh. Yeah. I love it. Wow, we were uh, having a discussion right before the break. And Greg was talking about the, uh, Fast food freakout story. Yeah. We're mentioning the shooting in Baltimore. And then just in general, like uh, Ray was talking about that. Right. Uh, that story about the 11-year-old pulled the gun after football practice and all that kind of stuff. And like, what makes everybody so quick to jump to violence? Yeah, yeah. Zero to violence. Yeah. This is way too smart of a text. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, chronic traumatic telepathy is uh, uh, encephalopathy. Encephalopathy. Whoa. Encephalopathy is a ancient disease. Violence begets violence. Like generational alcoholism. Cain and Abel is not just a story about two brothers. It's about a cultural transformation shift. There was a time when survival was a shared reality. Then the walls went up. See Ryan Eisler's The Chalice and the Blade and Sacred Pleasure. Wow. What Ooh. is I'm gonna have yeah, that. I'm gonna have Greg work oh, on that one. Yeah, I yeah. Need to read what does that, that mean? Times. <laughs> yeah. Violence begets violence. Encephalopathy. What is that? Encephalopathy. I thought that was some sort of physical anomaly. Yeah, can they retext? Uh, like dumb it down. Yeah, in English. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or if, if uh, you heard that and you understood it, could you like text it over to us? Because yeah. you know, we're not yeah. smart. Encephalopathy, damage or disease that affects the brain. Hmm. Okay. So we're all like trained to, yeah. Be or people more just in general just being more evil. Um, you know, we're, that Trevor Bauer story where the chick just completely made it up. The punt god story where the chick just completely made it up. Mm-hmm. These guys are, you know, their lives are ruined. Um, you know, uh, Mark Madden uh, tweeted yesterday. He said, "You know what's a terrible precedent? You could very easily ruin someone's career and or life via wrongful accusation." You can lie, be found out as a liar, and it still sticks permanently. Nothing is more wrong than that. And I, I was thinking about it, and I said, um, you know, the people behind these made-up stories should have to serve the same jail time that someone actually convicted of that crime would serve. So, Absolutely. like, in this case, like, if uh, you're saying that somebody raped you or whatever, and you're completely making it up, and it turns out that you made it up, what is the, uh, what's the average sentence for someone convicted of rape? What's that guy from that 70s show? 30 years. Danny Masterson yeah. or whatever, right? 30 years? Cool. Guess what? If it comes out that your story's BS, guess who can go to jail for 30 years? Yeah. You would get the same. You're trying to ruin this person's life. You you are risking you getting the same sentence as somebody else. I thought it was a great idea. I'm mm-hmm. going gonna, gonna to run for president on it. <laughs> okay. For all these, uh, all these crimes. But yeah. what if that person did do it and there just wasn't enough evidence to convict them and now you're going to jail for telling the truth and being the victim? I'm talking about one of these situations like this Trevor Bauer thing well, we where there's very fact. clear. Okay. He's got yeah. all the receipts. He's got no all the text messages. Yeah. Right. As long as it's clean. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. of course. Then this, put, this person, she would go to jail for 30 years, whatever, that, yeah. whatever the average sentence would be. Man, it was that a good idea. Yeah. I was like so proud of myself. But nowadays, too, along with all the <laughs> violence, an accusation equals guilt. Right. Yeah. Right. Anyway, eight seven seven forty four Woody. You can uh, hit us up with a text over to two two ninety seven. You know what I like? I like we could do a guess who's gas kind of game, but then we could also have like a, a thoughtful conversation on something, and we get right. actually mm-hmm. a lot of thoughtful responses on the text. We get exactly. encephalopathy. Yeah. We get encephalopathy, <laughs> which I've never even heard of. It's something about Cain and Abel. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cool. be baffled all day on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and also my idea about starting a new earth. I like, like that. Yeah, if win the Powerball, I'll start a new earth, invite only. And if you yeah. step out of line, you're out. Back to crap earth. And I'll say it. What do you Let's think? go. Let's get LFG. LFG. What do you LFG. think SpaceX is doing earth. with Mars? That's the idea. Yeah, I'm not going oh. to Mars. No, I don't yeah. want Mars. Mars. Yeah, I don't want to go They're going to make it, there. They're gonna make it dope eventually. Eventually. Not in my lifetime. Not in our lifetimes. Yeah, exactly.